Welcome to the Peptide Podcast. We're talking about the peptide information you need to know to start your week in less than five minutes. We've decided to do a mini series on peptides and sexual wellness. Over the next few weeks, we'll cover peptide therapies used to help men and women with low sex drive. As well as a peptide that helps increase sexual arousal and may help with infertility. Today we'll focus on PT-141 or bromelanotide, what it is, how it works for low sex drive, and potential side effects to watch out for. So what is PT-141 or bromelanotide? Bromelanotide is a melanocortin receptor agonist peptide. Melanocortin is a natural hormone in your body that works on receptors in both your brain and nervous system to cause sexual arousal and influence sexual behavior. However, we don't know exactly how it works to improve sex drive. It can also work on receptors in cells that produce skin color. You may know bromelanotide as Vilesi. This medication was originally FDA approved in 2019 to help low sex drive in women who haven't gone through menopause yet. While it's not approved for low sex drive in men, some may use it off-label. In these cases, bromelanotide is also used in men to help improve erections, libido, sex drive, and performance. So how is PT-141 or bromelanotide dosed and given? PT-141 is given on an as-needed basis at least 45 minutes before sex as an injection under the skin. You can give the injection with or without food into your abdomen, your upper thigh, or your upper arm. You should avoid injecting into the same spot every time, but you can inject into the same body area as long as you rotate your injection site. The dose of PT-141 is typically 1.75 milligrams 45 minutes before sex for women and 1 milligram for men. You shouldn't take more than one dose in a day or use more than eight doses per month. So what are the potential side effects of PT-141? You may experience some unwanted side effects that may get better over time as your body gets used to this peptide. These can include things like nausea, which typically lasts about two hours, but will improve for most people with the second dose. Flushing of the skin, injection site reactions like pain, redness, itching, or bruising, headache, or vomiting. In some cases, PT-141 can cause more serious side effects. Although rare, this peptide can temporarily raise your blood pressure and lower your heart rate after each dose. Your blood pressure and heart rate should go back to normal within 12 hours after taking this peptide, but because of this side effect, you shouldn't take this medication if you have heart disease. Because PT-141 can work on receptors in the cells that produce skin color, this peptide can cause the color of your skin to darken. Areas of the skin, like your face, gums, and breasts, are more likely to become discolored. People who take PT-141 every day or who have naturally dark skin are more likely to have a darkening of the skin. And it's not known if your skin will return back to normal after you stop taking PT-141. This is why it's not recommended to take more than eight doses per month. So who shouldn't use PT-141? Because this peptide can temporarily raise your blood pressure or lower your heart rate after each dose, you shouldn't use PT-141 if you have high blood pressure that's not controlled or if you have known heart disease. It's not known if PT-141 will harm your unborn baby, so if you're pregnant or you plan to become pregnant, you shouldn't take PT-141. Another thing to consider is what medications you're currently taking. PT-141 may slow down how quickly food leaves your stomach, and this may also affect how certain oral medications are absorbed by your body when you take PT-141. You'll want to avoid using PT-141 when taking oral medications that are dependent on certain concentrations for efficacy, like antibiotics, or certain pain relief medications like indomethacin. As always, tell your healthcare provider or pharmacist about the medications you take, including over-the-counter medicines. PT-141 may affect the other way medicines work and vice versa. 
Thanks again for listening to the Peptide Podcast. You can find more information at peptides.com. We love having you as part of our community. And if you love this podcast, please share it with your friends and family on social media and have a happy, healthy week.